Welcome back, or welcome for the first time. No more victories. We in the building, man. Hey, we ain't got that million yet, man. We need the million subscribers, man. Come on. Y'all watching the video, hit that for me real quick. Do -do -do -do. Hit that for me real quick. Like up, comment, man. Let me know what y'all think. We are reacting to today, man. Today, we got a crazy one, man. The fastest confessions from suspects, man. So they about to, you know, spill the beans quick. Let's see how this goes, man. Interrogations can go on for hours or even days, but in some rare cases, interrogations can last just seconds. Hold on. But in some rare Look cases, it, inter interrogations can last just seconds. Oh. oh no. From accidentally confessing to escapes, these are five of the wow. fastest police interrogations in history. Starting with Raymond Gates, five demonstrating fastest. exactly how Hold to head straight to the time, that's 9 minutes, 18 seconds, 12, 13 seconds, fit. oh, okay, 5 minutes. Interrogations in history. Minutes, minutes. Starting with Raymond Gates, demonstrating exactly how to head straight to prison in seconds. Raymond in was seconds. brought in after police obtained footage of him assaulting a 17-year-old girl. Police had to prove that the girl never gave consent, which was difficult given that only some of the attack was caught on camera. But became a lot easier when Raymond almost Don't instantly away. made a huge slip-up in the interrogation that put him dead to rights. This girl came back to my house. She's telling me she wants to lose her virginity, man. That, like, she's ready to do it and everything. And then right a couple seconds before that, she's like, I, she's like, I don't know and stuff like that. She's telling me, yes, everything's cool. She's cool with making out. But like, when she, when she screaming, stop. <laughs> Please. Stop means stop. Do this. It hurts so much. I was already what, inside what? of her at that point. I mean, like the oh no, stop. I'm already like inside of her there, man. That's already like that's when she's like, oh, it hurts. Which it hurts when a girl gets her virginity taken. And without even trying, the cops had everything they needed to convict him. Damn, so already? he was quickly found guilty and sentenced to nine years in prison. But while Raymond's interview ended in under 10 minutes, Quantrell Schwartzlow did it minutes. even faster. Uh -oh. With his interrogation in oh, under name? 10 what minutes, name again? Quantrell Schwartzlow Quantrell Schwartzlow even faster, with his interrogation ending in just seconds. Damn. But not in the way you'd think. Oh, that must be a dude that jumped out of the window. Quantrell was brought in for strangling a girl and assaulting her, a crime he clearly didn't want to be convicted of. That boy, straight calm, straight Using to the her, window. A crime he clearly didn't want calm. to be convicted of. Open it up real quick. Open this motherfucker up. Damn! Boy, leaps. I wonder what floor he was on. Oh, oh no. What's he on, man? Unfortunately for Quantrell, his handcuffs were a dead giveaway, and he was captured four hours later. While it's unknown exactly what Hold on, happened, what you to mean the handcuffs were you? He was still handcuffed four hours later. Away, and he, he was captured four, four hours, hours later. later. While it's unknown exactly what happens to Quantrell after, this clip will forever put him in the interrogation hall of fame. However, no Ricky no Hawthorne took a much more straightforward approach to ending his interrogation, managing to confess in record time. Ricky was found covered in blood near the bodies of Lara Kuchar and Tommy Skeens. Lara had clearly been assaulted. Ricky's DNA was also found at the scene, so police had no worries when bringing him in. Surprisingly, though, Ricky would make it even easier for them. What do you do? What do you do? Hey, man. Do, 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 do. Hey, man, I did that shit, man. Hey, hey. Hey, this one. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I knew it. I hey, knew he was going to do that. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Know, let's do this. I did. But I think somebody came behind me and finished. Yeah, I did. So much for staying silent. However, Ricky is alleging that he wasn't actually the murderer. He just attacked the couple and assaulted Laura. It was someone else that finished the job. Even though the evidence was stacked against him, he still would have confessing to the police works against you, offering no benefit. Damn! Hey, make them do their jobs, man. Let them police do their jobs. 
a better chance of getting away with it if he just stayed silent. There's three more people. I don't know. And you know what? They was living when I left. But I think somebody came in there behind me and finished them off. Shit, I did. Hey, man, shit out I did. Of them. Somebody else. I, don't, I left. Despite his claims, man. it was determined that the couple died of the injuries inflicted by Ricky, and he was. Hold on. His claims, hold on, hold it on. was determined. That boy doing. He got a photo shoot. That boy had a photo shoot. The jailhouse fit. That boy had the man backdrops and everything, man. But the couple died of the injuries inflicted by Ricky, and he was later found guilty of, of first and second degree murder, as Get well as battery in the assault Life on Laura. Sense, but Jared Murray takes the cake for the most insane interrogation in history. Jared had shot his friend in the head during a car ride to Walmart for no other reason than to know what it felt like to kill someone. Wow. Hey, man, kids, don't do none of this shit, man. Stay out of whatever you're trying to do, man. There's better days out there for you. Don't let the to flee movies by and music influence Canada, you, man. was picked up by an officer after perfectly matching the perp's description. The officer took him into custody where a quick but truly chilling interview took place. Okay, and what do you remember, Kel? Uh, in summation that I'm guilty, yes. Of what? Of murder. Okay, and who did you murder? Uh, Janera. Okay, and... R.I.P. And how did you murder him? With a gun. I shot him in the head twice. Okay. Uh, three shots were fired, one missed. Jared isn't hanging around here, and apparently had already confessed before he even made it to the station. But what's interesting about this interrogation isn't the speed at which he confessed, it's exactly why, as well as his general demeanor throughout the interview. Ah, don't do it, given the mental illness. Don't do it. I hope they didn't give him the mental illness break, man. Okay. I hope they didn't give him the you mental illness break. Jared Lindroth Wayne Murray. Okay, and what's your date of birth? Uh, July the 20th, 1994. And how did you guys hook up? Oh, man. Uh, I went down to his dorm room and asked if I could be given a ride to Walmart in exchange for $20 gas money. Okay. Did he agree to that? Yes, sir. Okay. And that's a couple miles from school? Uh, 1.7 miles, sir. 1.7 miles. Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, no, no. So he took you to Walmart? Yes, sir. And did you both go in? No, we did not go in, sir. And why not? We pulled into the parking lot, then I pulled the uh, weapon on him and demanded that he take me to Asher, Oklahoma, sir. And yeah, why did yeah. all of a sudden did you decide that you need to go to Asher? Asher, Oklahoma. Because I was planning to take him out into the country and kill him. Jared lacks any form of empathy, remorse, or knowledge Please that what he's done illness, is a bad man. thing. He merely expresses his actions as though they were fact, and in a later psychological assessment, it was determined this was because he had become delusional and believed that he was required to kill someone. If it's not, they gonna give him that mental illness, man. Don't do it. They gonna give the white boy the mental illness, man. Here by now. Jared was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, and wow. delusions from and this are likely what pushed him to kill Gennaro. And they but did Jared it. is happy to provide us with even more details surrounding his motive. Been a so with probation been, or something. You've man. been planning this for two days. Uh, two weeks, That's yes, two two three. Weeks. but not with a selected individual. No. Okay. And when did you get to the point where you knew it was going to be him? That was three days prior to the incident. And why him? Uh, all the kids don't give him the mental or, illness um, break. I believed that he would have had the least impact, sir. Damn, impact bro. of Walmart. No family, uh, I believed he didn't have many friends, or many close friends, I should rephrase. And as his, <clears throat> as he is going missing, his oh, absence would be less notable. Jared was, of course, charged with first-degree murder, Thank you. but was eventually found not guilty by reason of insanity. Instead of receiving prison time, he would instead spend an indefinite amount of time in custody at a mental health facility where he would receive the treatment he should have had so much earlier. Wow. Wow. Boy planned out a whole murder and they gave, and he's not guilty. Put him in the mental health clinic, bro. Boy, he confessed and everything, gave him the plan, who he's gonna kill, why he killed him, the whole thing. The first, the the the, the first degree, everything checks off the first degree list. Wow. 
All three of these cases have been about criminals who confessed wow. quickly. But there are many cases where they the really interrogation is almost instant, Ill, but for a very different reason. This 18-year-old suspect was brought in after allegedly hitting a cop with his car and was subsequently read his Miranda rights. Yeah, there's a criminal investigation. Obviously, you're not free to go because you have warrants for your arrest. Um, I'm going to read your Miranda because it's very important you understand your rights. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say you can and will be used against you in a court of law. Blah, 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 blah. Do you understand each of these rights I've explained to you? Yes, Have these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? I'm sorry? Say what? what you Have these rights in mind, do you wish to talk to me now? Yes, sir. Sorry. You don't want to talk to me. Okay, you can call your mom at the jail. Right. At just 18 Wait, years old, on, this guy showed exactly how to act in a police interrogation, okay, you know? perfectly exercising his rights and truly outsmarting detectives, assuming he wanted to land himself in prison for yes, the rest sir. of his life.